I'm just going to move this window. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. We're so excited that you're here. National Pumpkin Day, is that National it? National Pumpkin Day. Happy National Pumpkin Who Day. Uh, my name is Liz. This is my sister, Sam. We blog at Pretty Life Girls. You can find us at prettylifegirls.com. You can follow us on social media at Pretty Life Girls. <gasps> Hello from Illinois. Hi. Yes, drop in the chat where you're from. Let Illinois. us know. We're so excited that you're here. We are big tie-dye fans. And we and have pumpkin fans. And pumpkin fans. And we New have York, Texas, Austin, New York. Wow. Oh, hi. Wow. I guess we should say where we're from. We're in uh, Utah um harem in utah which is more south west uh, it's just west south of salt, salt lake. lake city just a suburb yes of oh my gosh hi everybody yay we're so glad you're here so it's national pumpkin day we're going to be doing some tie-dye we tie-dyed so hard this year we actually had a tie-dye book come out this year the diy guide to tie-dye style and this has all different kinds of ideas for tie-dyeing, everything you need to know to get started if you're not a big tie-dyer. So um, we have found a way to bring oh tie-dye into fall. What? The crafty lumberjacks are here. You and ah, my Dennis. Hi guys. Can we just tell you how much we love you? Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. You guys have to go follow the crafty, follow lumber, crafty lumber Like jacks. sunshine. Oh sunshine gosh, boys. I'm so obsessed with them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, love it. Okay. So we're going to show you how we love tie dye. We tie dyed our hearts out all summer. And then we've had like a lull. And then now that it's National Pumpkin Day, we're like, we need to figure out a way to tie dye Halloween style. So that's what we're doing today. We're so excited to show you how we're going to make two different shirts that are totally beginner, great to get kids involved. Everything here you can snag at Michael's and make it an afternoon. It'd be so fun to do. If you're like one of those people, this is what I do on Halloween or Halloween events or whatever. I don't, I'm not like a huge costume person, but I like to be festive. Totally. So something like this is a perfect thing to do. You can make these for the whole family. You could all wear them together. So much fun. So the book, I said this DIY guide to tie-dye style. You can find this on Amazon. Um, you can go to our blog, which is prettylifegirls.com. And on the sidebar, there's a link to it. Yes. So if you haven't tie-dyed, this is such a great way to get started. There's 20 original projects in it. It's beautiful. Um, and so Sam is going to teach us how to make these fun shirts. So the two kinds we're going to make today is this pumpkin one that you use orange tie-dye for and then this one is a reverse dye shirt so when you run to michael's you'll get a black shirt and then we use bleach to bring out these orange colors and we'll show you how to do everything keep telling us where you're from we're so glad you guys are here and if you have questions as we, as we go along since we've done a lot of tie-dye we forget what maybe beginners might need to know so let us know if you have any questions as we go along yeah okay let's start we can flip to the overhead here um okay we're gonna start doing the orange shirt so the one that liz is wearing i'm gonna move this over so for the orange shirt the pumpkin one you need a white shirt orange tie-dye we use tulip and some rubber bands which usually come in the tulip kits i am going to take my oh well, let's say this too the reason oh, we yes. use the tulip is because it's one step. So when you buy these kits from Michaels, they come with the bottle and the dye is inside in a powder. And all you do is add water. You don't have to do a soda ash. You don't have to do any kind of prepping for it. You just shake it and apply it to your shirt. So it's super easy. Look, Andrew and Dennis are moderating. <laughs> oh my gosh, books. you guys. You guys. <laughs> I've never been able to express this except in comments on Instagram. And so I don't think they know Oh my God. How true my love is. <laughs> okay. This oh my is my trusty tie dye container. I wrote tie dye on it because once you use something for tie dye, it's no longer food safe. So, um, okay. I just actually don't need that quite yet. So first we're going to do the binding. So this is called the cluster binding. And all you do is pinch and you're doing it dry. This one is dry okay but maybe we should make it damp actually uh we're gonna do it dry i suggest doing it damp because it will spread a little more or a little more it'll blend a little bit better okay 
Um, but we have, we're not going to be able to show this in real time anyway. So damp shirt, you're going to pinch and pull it and then wrap the rubber band around. Oh boy. Sam just had a baby <laughs> two months ago and he's crying. I'm going to run, grab, give him a binky while you hang okay. up. Okay. So I'm just going to do this all around the shirt. And this is where our little pumpkins are going to be. So if you want pumpkins in certain places, you would just pinch and find it like that. So I'm gonna do like five, just like this. Just pinching and wrapping the rubber bands nice and tight around it. So then I'm gonna do one more. You could do some on the sleeve too, just wherever you want pumpkins to be. Okay, so you can see I have my little clusters here. And now I'm gonna bring my container over and I'm just gonna plop the shirt in. And then I'm gonna cover it completely in the tie dye. And you should wear gloves, but so you can see because this is dry that the dye is kind of sitting on top of it. If it was wet, which again, we do suggest, I just didn't think about it. Oh, good. Liz brought the baby down here so we can easily step in if he's upset. <clears throat> we'll show you him a bit. Oh, you guys want to see him. He's so perfect. <laughs> he's like the most perfect baby. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm just squeezing this whole thing. Again, like I said, if it was damp, it would be absorbing the dye more evenly. And so you'll want to do that. You can also put on gloves and give it a squish. You can give it a squish, but definitely recommend damp. Just sometimes it's hard for these classes to think about everything. I know, that's true. So then you would set your t-shirt and what that entails is putting your shirt in a plastic bag and letting it sit for eight to 24 hours. Or we love the two minute tie dye kits, which are plastic containers. You can put them in, microwave it for two minutes and then it's set, which is great if you're impatient like us. Um, Liz, do you just wanna hold him? Sure. That's probably fine since we're overhead. Um, and then you rinse it until the water runs clear, then wash it and dry it. So now, magic of television. Should I? Well, should I? Hold oh. on? <laughs> this is Colin. He's so sweet. Okay. Yes, Insta tie dye. If you're impatient like we are, then two minute tie dye is where it's at. So. He's the best, Leslie. He's so awesome. And yeah, he's just so wonderful. Okay, Lindsay, the container is just like a Rubbermaid giant Tupperware. So it's not fancy at all. <laughs> That's my baby, Leslie. He's, his name's Cohen and he's two months old and he's the best. And he is a cherub. That's what I say <laughs> to him. I call him my angel. Thank you. Okay, so washed and dried here we are and then you can see once you take the rubber bands off then you can see you have these circles that happen from where you put the rubber bands if this wasn't wrinkly you could probably see it better so then i have these tulip fabric markers black and green and this is when you just get to draw whatever faces you want this is so fun for kids I'm gonna go around with the green to do the stems. If you have kids that are perfectionists like our kids, go with a pencil first or a washable or stencil stem. or something. Yes. You could also use fabric paint if you wanted to do this, that, or you could use vinyl if you wanted to. But I like the idea of it being a little more rugged. Yeah. And you just draw whatever faces you want within each circle. Let, I want you guys to put what you or your kids are being for Halloween in the chat. I oh, love yes, to hear. Please tell us. It's my favorite thing. On our blog, prettylifegirls.com, we have tons of last minute costume ideas too. If you're still like, we don't know, 
like we don't sew so every costume you find on our vlog is no sew and very easy to throw together just all assembled <laughs> with hot glue all assembled with hot glue so if you're looking for something one of my favorites we have a bubble gum machine costume on there that's really cute i mean there's just so many so there are two oh. questions in the chat if the marker bleeds and then if the if the faces of the markers like they don't bleed through the back of the shirt either so you would to be safe you would probably want to put like a piece of cardboard right here so that it doesn't bleed that's a really good question oh no that's all right um yeah to be safe that's a really good question uh how do you wash the shirt so with the markers you can just wash it so these are fabric markers so they will stay and um with tie-dye once you've rinsed it once you've set the dye and rinsed it so that the water runs clear then you can just wash it in your washing machine but we do say to wash it by itself the first time just so that you don't accidentally get dye on any of your other clothes family of milk <laughs> what oh, is it you oh pumpkin Oh my gosh, you guys are fun. Cookie Monster and Baby Yoda. Oh my gosh. So cute. Okay, cat. So to set the die, after you've covered, here, we'll go back to this. So after you've covered your shirt in the die, and I'll repeat this in case anyone came in or joined us a little bit late. A damp shirt, you cut, you'll bind it in the clusters, add the tie dye, and then You'll set it by putting it in a Ziploc bag and letting it sit for eight to 24 hours, depending on how rich you want the color to be. Or if you don't wanna wait that long, you can use two minute tie dye containers, which you can get at Michael's. They're little plastic containers that you put the shirt in and then put it in the microwave for two minutes and it speed sets it. And then again, you would just rinse it till it's clear, put it in your washer, and by itself, and then it will be ready to go to this step where you use fabric markers to color your design. Or you could use fabric paint. You don't need soda ash, Kat asked, so you need soda ash. You do not need soda ash because Tulip One Step Tie Dye has the soda ash mixed in. So it comes in bottles that have just a little bit of powder at the bottom. That is the dye and the soda ash mixed together. All you do is add water. If you there's dye, one right, oh, I guess it's, <clears throat> there's this the bottle. You can oh see. yeah, so this is what the bottles look like. It's called one step because the only thing you have to do is add water. The fixative or soda ash and dye are already in there. Um, if you dye more than one item, can you put them in the wash together? I do, but there is always a risk involved. Mm -hmm. If they're the same colors like this, since they're both orange, you you shouldn't have a problem. Them. yeah yeah it's it's just oh Wilma has no sound is that just Wilma do other people hear us okay so then you would just keep coloring your pumpkins until you're done and that one's super easy very kid friendly I would love to just like set my kids free okay people can hear okay, okay Wilma great. I guess I could tell you that you might have it muted, but you wouldn't hear me. <laughs> Puff from Ghostbusters is cute. Okay, so that's that one. Do you guys have any questions on this very simple shirt before I move on to our next one? What type of shirt takes tie-dye the best? 100% cotton will take tie-dye the best. And that's what you can get at Michael's. So yep. these uh, there are wall of shirts, you can grab them there and they're all perfect. Yeah, they have these Gildan ones or they have um, Bella, Canvas. Bella Canvas. Jen, cute for ornaments. Do you mean these circles that you can make a Christmas version? Is that what you're saying, Jen? Because that, is, that is so genius. cute. Yes. <laughs> Michelle, rubber bands, just normal. Just rubber bands. If you get the tulip kit, it comes with rubber bands and gloves. So you can just use those. How fun. Okay, any last questions? Pre-wash shirts? Yes. If you have the time. 
Yes, circles can be wreaths too. Oh my gosh, can okay. you imagine? Holly <laughs> berries and a little bow. Yes. You guys are so good at this. Oh yep. my gosh. Okay, one. if you make these for Christmas, Erin, Jen, send us pictures, please. Okay, we're gonna move on to our next shirt. Put in small embroidery hoops. Oh my gosh, you guys are killing me. So good, you guys. Okay, so our next one is going to be this black, <laughs> they just keep going. <laughs> Snow globes. Wow, you guys are Do good. we need to pay you guys royalties if we <laughs> <I> make these? <laughs> yes. We'll tag you if we make them. <laughs> okay, so our next one is this reverse dye shirt. So we've just got a black, whoa, again, just black gilded. 100% cotton with reverse dye, which is where you use bleach to pull the color out. 100% um, cotton is good. You'll get a lot of change in the coloring, but the bleach will eat away at the fabric a little bit. So there are a few things you would want to do with that. Number one, you could get a poly cotton blend shirt that has a heather which means that it has a lighter base and you would get a lot of change there. Or if you are using 100% cotton, then you'll just want to do a hydrogen peroxide bath, which deactivates the bleach so that it doesn't keep eating away at the fibers. And with that, it's just um, one part hydrogen peroxide to 10 parts water. And after you've bleached it and the color has changed enough, then you just soak it. And I'll I'll mention that again when we get <laughs> to that point. So we have our black shirt here and we are gonna put, um, oh, I'm sorry, I missed what you said about the reverse dye. I'll repeat it really quickly. So this is 100% cotton, but when you are, oh, the closed captioning, okay. When you are reverse dyeing a shirt, you're using bleach to pull out the color, but that also takes away from the integrity of the fibers. So when you're using a 100% cotton shirt, it is eating at 100% of the shirt, basically, because bleach only changes the cotton. And so if you're doing that, you want to deactivate the bleach as soon as you get to the color that you want or you can use a poly cotton blend because the bleach won't affect the polyester portion of the shirt, just the cotton, and you don't risk it like getting holes or anything like that. But if you're doing the, co the cotton poly blend, you want a heather base so that, or a heather pattern because it means it has a light base and the color will change. Well, for this design, go ahead and stick with a black shirt because it changes to like a coppery orange, which is what we want for Halloween. So I have my shirt here. And then this is a mist bottle. You could use a normal spray bottle or even a squirt bottle um, that has half and half bleach and water. And I have, I'm gonna put the emblem here, which is this that we cut with our silhouette machine. And I want it to be here. I want it to be mostly black where I'm gonna iron that on and then I want the orange to come out. So what I'm gonna do is spiral bind it. So I'm gonna just twist, pinch where I want most of the black to be and twist. And I'm gonna just keep twisting until the shirt is in a bundle. And I'm gonna just like wrap it around to speed it up a little bit. Let's show them this baby now. Oh, Liz wants you to show want to baby. see this baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you guys handle this baby? <laughs> Sam made this is him. not what they came here for. I know, but this is a DIY class you made. This I made child. <laughs> Look at my <laughs> ultimate <laughs> DIY project. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> can't handle <laughs> oh my gosh he's so fun okay so I have my shirt in this spiral and right in the very middle is where my how much bleach to water 50 50 so one to one um okay so I have this here let's see do I have I need to okay. use this container again well, they need to move. let me go rinse it 
just dump the shirt in the sink and leave it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna just take my bleach and I'm gonna spray it, but I'm gonna try and not spray too much in the very middle because I want it mostly black where I'm going to iron on my design. Let's see if I have, oh Liz, I can just use this. So don't worry about it. I'm gonna just pop this in this container since it's found. Well. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna mist it. And we'll start to see it change pretty quickly. If you are doing bleach, we suggest outside or a well-ventilated area, which we're not doing, but we're gonna be careful. Okay, and we'll see this color start to change really quickly. So we're just gonna watch it. So you can see it really good right there. Can you see how that's already changing? Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna actually open it up so you can really see it change. Isn't that so cool? And if you wanted more bleach, then you could um, bunch it up just like that and spray it again. Like, I think it could use a little more down here. And we're just gonna spray it, open it, and we'll watch those spots come. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Look at, you can see these pieces coming. It's just so perfect that black turns that it's color for Halloween. Do you have a guide for what colors you get with bleach for different color shirts? No, it is a complete gamble. Yes. <laughs> it, we've tried to is. predict it from different using different kinds of shirts. Typically, if you do 100% cotton, you'd think that it would just go white, but it doesn't. So you have to be willing to embrace whatever the heck is going to come because there really isn't a way to know. Yeah, totally. We're always surprised. Yep. Okay, so then once this has changed to the point that you like it, this is when you would dunk it in the hydrogen peroxide bath. So 10 parts water to one part hydrogen peroxide, put it in there, shake it out, agitate it so that it deactivates the bleach. You don't want the bleach to keep working at this shirt because it's gonna eat through it. And then you can wash it and dry it. And I would even say, do that just before you yes. add the color that you love because it will keep changing until it's been like hit with soap. Yeah. So I would do it just like if you're like, oh, it's almost there, then know that you should do it right then because yeah. it's going to keep changing. You can see on this one that this one got even lighter. Oh, and will you um get the iron? Yes. Actually, I'll grab it really quick. It's just right here. So then once you have washed and dried it, the spray, okay, Leslie, the spray is one-to-one -one bleach and water. Do you start with dry fabric? Yes. On this project, that is what you do. I'm just plugging in my iron really quickly. Yes, so one-to-one -one bleach and in a mist bottle, twist it up, spray it until you like it. Then you soak it in the hydrogen peroxide bath so that the bleach stops working. The hydrogen peroxide deactivates the bleach and makes it so that it doesn't keep changing colors too much or eat through all the fabric. Erin, um, does that answer your question? And Krissa, do you flip it over and spray to get the effect on the back? Yes, if, if you want it on the back, you would do that. It does come through a little bit. So I only did the front on this one and it came through a little, but if you want to make it a little more distinct on the back, then yeah, you would just do it again. Okay, so then this shirt is rinsed, washed, dried, and we just take our thing here, hot dry iron or a heat press, whatever you have, and we're just gonna. If you don't have a silhouette machine or a cutting machine, you can do similar things to what we did before. So you could get iron on um, patches, or you, Michael's has some fun patches since they have the fabric section now. They have some fun patches. You could get iron on letters and write trick or treat with the iron on letters. You could um, just get heat transfer vinyl and cut it with scissors into a design that you like, cut a pumpkin out or something like that. 
Um, you could stencil it and use white, white fabric paint. paint. Yes. There's so How many different ways. you soak it in the hydrogen peroxide bath? Um, so I usually just put it in for like five minutes and like shake it out. But once you have done that, then you could throw it in the laundry and that will really, really stop, stop the it. bleach. Like final. Okay. Let me see if this is good. We're just going to lift a corner and make sure none of this is peeling up. Right here it is peeling up. So I'm going to just put it back down, do it a little bit longer. Wow, we're cruising through this. How long do you, oh, we already answered that. And yes, Leslie, you've got it. So bleach and water is what's in here that you apply. That's what makes the color change. Then you put it in the hydrogen peroxide, one to 10. So one part hydrogen peroxide, 10 parts water to deactivate the bleach. Okay, I'm gonna actually let this cool a little before I peel again. What other questions do you guys have? You could also get a similar effect to this if you're scared about the bleach. Buy an orange shirt and dye it with black dye, just like we yes. did the first project. Just bind it the same way and squirt an orange shirt with black dye. So there's lots of different ways you can do it if the bleach scares you. I know with some people it's a little bit nerve wracking. Yeah. Because or it, if you're doing it with kids or yes. something and you don't feel. But these shirts at Michael's go on sale so frequently and are so affordable mm -hmm. that you can, we've had so many fails and it's not a huge deal because you can use your 20% off coupon. They're always on sale. And then you can, you know, just a few dollars. Yes. Yes. So you can be open to whatever happens and know you're not out a ton of money if it doesn't go quite what you think. But the idea is to embrace whatever happens once you start squirting it <laughs> and hope for the best. Okay, I'm gonna, I think this is good now. So we're just gonna peel it off. There's also lots of fun like puffy paints and stuff in the shirt, like in this aisle, if you're familiar with Michael. So it's like one, at least in my store, it's the shirts and then a bunch of tools for working with clothes and stuff. And there's like all kinds of fabric paints and stuff too. So if you don't have a cutting machine, there's so many different ways you can do it. We do have classes scheduled for Christmas. Yeah, we do. So on December 8th, I think it is, we're doing a class with Silhouette and we're making um, this cute snow globe craft that you make a 3D paper house. Mm -hmm. And then on December 9th, if the tie dye is what you're looking for, December 9th, we're doing a class with Tulip and we're doing matching family pajamas and crazy socks. So that will be a really fun one. Um, I think that's it for December. I know we have another one in January. That is a Valentine's shirt. Let's show them the book. We've got questions <clears throat> about that. So if you missed at the beginning, um, we published a book on tie-dye this year. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on our blog, prettylifegirls.com. It has so many of the questions you've been asking us are in here. So here's dyes and supplies, what you need to get started, what kind of fabrics and how to use, how to pick fabrics for certain prep projects, preparing your fabrics for dyeing, um, setting in care. And then we have a bunch of binding techniques. And then there's 20 projects that go from basic to more advanced, um, so fun. And all of them, so yeah, we do ice dye. So if you were looking for something more colorful, we do ice dye, we do pastels, we do reverse dyeing. So if you are a beginner or if you've been doing tie dye, but you want some new ideas. We also do a project that's reverse and dye. Oh yeah, that's that fun, look at that. Be. So this is a black suit that we bleached to get the color out and then we added color on top of that. Is that so cool? Like so amazing. If we're gonna combine the two techniques we use today. Yes, there you go. So, so yeah, on our blog, prettylifegirls.com, there's a link to buy it just on our sidebar. And you can visit our shop and stuff there too. We have a lot of fun tie-dye projects or products on our shop. And we also have a lot of um, jewelry kits and craft kits and stuff. So that's pretty, you ideas. can go to, prettylifegirls.com for the links to all of that. Yes, okay, Lisa, just catching you live. Did you bunch up the t-shirt with rubber bands to get that effect or did you just bunch it up and spray? So for this shirt, all we did was twist it. We didn't use rubber bands. We just twisted it and then sprayed it and then untwisted it. And if you, um, 
are wondering about this. This is the first one we made if you missed this. So this was a white shirt and we just binded this one with the cluster technique. So all you do is pinch it and then wrap rubber bands and cover it so we did that all over and then we covered it in orange dye set it washed it and then took fabric markers to draw the pumpkin face and you would just draw them in each of these clusters so that you have pumpkins you can see it on the board facing on liz what other questions wow i can't believe we went through them so fast did we talk so fast because we do that <laughs> we get excited and we just like go yes. fast. Um, another thing that's coming up with Michael's, it's not a class, but we have a post coming up with Michael's that is so fun. It's a Christmas village that you can make so simply from uh, tools at Michael's. So if you are starting to think about holiday projects, this is something to really work on through, no, just through November. Mm -hmm. So then December, you'll be ready. Oh, good. Oh, here you can see my shirt now. This is what it looks like when you color in all of the little. I like that faces. one. <laughs> <laughs> I had fun with it. Oh, so fun. Oh, oh good. Okay. So we weren't too fast because we really do get excited <laughs> we and do. we pump ourselves with caffeine before we start. <laughs> oh, boy. So let us know if you have more questions. If you make any of these projects, make sure you share them with us. So use the hashtag. Michael's classes, hashtag make it with Michael's, and then you can tag us at Pretty Life Girls. Come follow us over there so you can see what we're up to through the holidays. We have so many fun projects. Oh, yes. Let's see. Um, Lisa, <laughs> it would work, but I would also be afraid of it eating the design. So if possible, I would get a blank shirt and then add the design after. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you have someone who does sublimation or vinyl or even screen printing, you would just want to dye it first. Ideally, I'm doing the pumpkin technique on a table runner. It oh, will be perfect. Yes. You don't even need to cross your fingers. You Aaron. take a picture of that, Erin, and you send it to us. I have to see. Tag us at Pretty Life Girls. I want to see that. And oh it will gosh. be adorable. Adorable. Oh, try with something so you don't love first. These are really easy. <laughs> you can do it. You can do can it. Can we stencil with the fabric markers? Yes, mm -hmm. totally. Yeah. Or you could do fabric paint if you wanted to do that. If you used a red shirt, what color? So on these Gildan ones, in our experience, and we should preface by saying we don't know what every color turns, but yes. we have used quite a few of the yes. Gildan shirts. So. Um, I'm trying to see if I even have one. Let hey, me look. We've got a purple over there on the. Here's a purple. Oh, oh, oh and there's a red. red. Yeah. Perfect. Our closet, my closet's filled with them. This is the red. So it turns kind of peachy, orangey. Is that so fun? We went on a family vacation and we all bleached different colors. This is red. It goes, yeah, peachy, orangey. The purple is one of my favorites because it goes like pinky light purple isn't that so cool it's like sam said earlier too if you're looking for it to go more white that's when you want to look for a, a blend heather. and a heather because mm -hmm. these just they, it's really rare to get a 100 percent cotton shirt that's going to go completely white so if you're looking for it to go really high contrast white and then the color heather is a great thing and then you want a blended did you say 50 50 is the best i think it's like I think it's even like you want more polyester than bleach mm -hmm. just for the fibers to not eat, get eaten through. But again, like if, if you are making a shirt that you just want for like fun and you mm -hmm. aren't concerned with the quality, yes. you know, like if it gets a little hole in it, which yes. like is sort of how it was for us. Like we bought $2 shirts. Yes for our whole family because we wanted a cute picture and a fun activity mm -hmm. then you don't need to worry about the makeup too much but if you want a shirt that will last the bella canvas ones at michael's are a little bit more expensive because they're higher quality they're really soft and really nice but the colors go wacky you can't ex you like they're really different. not wacky but you just can't predict yes they're, you, you it turns out beautiful but you can't predict so if you're going to go with the bella canvas for a better fit and like a, the softer feel just be really, really open to it. It's always a fun result, but you won't be able to predict what the heck it's gonna do. The snow globe, snow globe class is December 8th, I'm pretty sure. 
December 8th with all from silhouettes. So it'll be really fun. Yes, the 8th and then the matching family pajamas and socks are the next day on the 9th with Tulip. Anything else? Be sure you run over and follow us on Instagram at Pretty Life Girls. Follow Michael, follow Michael's at Michael's store so you don't miss any announcements about all of their other classes. And if you make anything, tag us so we can share it, so we can see it. And this was so fun, you guys. Yes, we'll Thank stay you. for let's stay for one more okay. second just for to make one more sure. Question. Thank you, Lindsay. We can't wait. Oh, they want to see the baby again. I'll get him. Is that all only on Twitter? No, that's on Instagram. Facebook, YouTube, <laughs> Pinterest, it's everywhere. Or our blog is prettylifegirls.com. <laughs> okay, Patty, this is for you. Trying to fall asleep. Oh. <laughs> Here hey. he is with that is being key so you can see his sweet face. Oh my. Goodness. Even though he's like, leave me alone. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. I know. Huh, honey. He's the best. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Hopefully. Bye, Bye. everyone.